Hello everyone. In, th in this puzzle we're going to find a few patterns and techniques that will help quite a bit. We're going to find a Sudoku gate pattern, also ghost numbers, and we'll even find a unique rectangle situation. And we're going to also find some other patterns and techniques that are advanced that will help us solve this puzzle. This was a puzzle um, requested by subscriber Andy. Thank you, Andy, for the puzzle. And uh, I also just want to mention that if you have a puzzle you'd like me to take a look at, leave a comment and I may, uh, I'll take a look at it and I may do a video on it. So if you're interested in having me solve a puzzle, please leave a comment and I'll see what I can do. This video was it will be released on Friday morning and I wanted to mention that every Friday from now on, every Friday morning from now on, I'm going to publish an, a new video. I may publish one or two additional ones during the week, but you can count on every Friday morning having a new puzzle on this channel. All right, well, the first number we have here is a one there. We have a 1 and an 8 here, and a 1 and an 8 here, so we have 1, 8 twins there. We have a 1 here, and the 1, 8 twins form ghost ones here, so these can't be a 1, so we know that's a 1 there. That is a 9, and that's pretty clear why that's a 9. But if you do, um, if I do something that you don't understand, Please leave a question in the comments, and I'd be happy to try and answer any questions you have. All right, now, with that 9 that I placed here, we've got one nine, a 1 and a 9 in this column, a 1 and a 9 in this column. We have a 1 and a 9 here, too, so we have 1, 9 twins there. And because of these 1, 9 twins, we can place a 2 right there, because we know the 2 can't go there. Now take a look at these, uh, the 3 and 8 in row 9 here. We can have 3 and 8, but that's one of the 1, 9 twins there. So we know these are 3, 8 twins, because a 3 can't go there. So we have 1, 9 twins, 3, 8 twins, and only two numbers left in this box, 4, 5 twins. Now we can't solve those right now, but we're going to use them in a few minutes. All right, let's see. Now we'll put a, we um, <clears throat> want to mention there's a gate pattern right here, this one and nine. Anytime you have two numbers with a cell in between them, you can view that as a gate. The seven goes through the gate, and if a number goes through the gate that's outside this box, look for that same number in the other column, like in this column here. There's a 7 here, so we know sevens, the 7 is constrained to one of these two cells. So we have a 7, ghost 7s, and 7 there, so we can solve that 7 right there. The gate pattern and lots of other patterns are out in a pattern section on sudokuprimer.com. You can also find a technique section on that same website, and uh, pretty much Pretty much all of the techniques I use in these in this channel can be uh, found out there, so you can read up on a lot of different techniques and patterns out there. All right, now if we remember, we have four or five twins here. Uh, we've only got three numbers in row nine, but with these four or five twins, it's it's as if we have five numbers. So let's see what we're missing. We're missing four numbers. One, four, five, six, seven, nine. One, six, seven, and nine are missing. We have a, a one, nine here because the one, nine twins. One, six, seven, nine. Here's a one and a nine here, so these are six and seven, and we can solve them because of the one nines there. So these are one nine twins now and four five twins. OK, 
Okay, now with this 6 and 7, we've created a T pattern in box 7 here. There's a 6 here, but there's already a 6 in the box, so that doesn't help us. But let's go through the top of the T and see what we can find. We've got a 1 and a 7 in the box already, but we don't have a 2 or a 5, so these are two 5 twins here. And we can solve them. Now we're only missing 3 and 4 here and 6 and 9, 6 9 twins here. All right, with this 2, we can put a 2 there and we can put a 2 there. All right, let's look at row 1 here. We've already got four numbers. We also have a 5 and a 7 here and a 5 and a 7 here, so we have 5, 7 twins here. So we essentially have six numbers in this row. Let's see what we're missing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 3, 4, and 6 are missing. There's a 6, so that's 3 or 4. These are 5, 7 twins here. There's a 6, so that's a 3 or a 4, so that's a 6. Right now, let's see, with that 6, we can put a 6 here. Can't see any other place for a 6 at this time. All right, now, we have only two numbers left here, 3 and 4. And we know these are 3, 4 twins here. We can't solve these right now. We have 4 and 5, 4, 5 twins here. We can't solve those, but look at this 5 right here. We have a 5 here and a 5 here, so we have ghost 5s right here. Ghost numbers are another um, technique and you can read up on in SudokuPrimer.com. With the ghost 5s here, we know that's a 4. And that's a 5. So that's a 3, and that's a 4. With that 3, we can put a 4 there. And remember, we have 1, 8 twins here that we found at the very beginning. So that's a 3 right there. All right, now we've, only, we've got 1, 8 twins here. We still can't solve them, but let's see what the other three numbers are here. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4. 6, 7, 8, 9. 4, 6, and 9. We got a 4 and a 6 there, so we know that's a 9. And so we have 4, 6 twins there. Can we solve them? Well, yeah, because we have 3, three 4 twins here, so we have ghost 4s there. So we know the 6 goes there and the 4 goes there. All right, and with this 9 here, we can put a 9 there. Now we're only missing 3 and 6 in box 1. Let's look at this column right here. We're missing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8. 2, 5, and 8. And there's a 2, 5 there, 2 and 5 there. So we can put an 8 there. Now we're missing two, two five twins there and seven three twins there. With that eight, we can solve this, the one eight twins we found at the very beginning. All right, now we can also solve these three seven twins because we've got a three there. Now we have only have two numbers missing in this row, four and seven, and we have five seven twins there. So we have uh, double column elimination will tell us that that is a seven because we, a seven fits in one of these columns in this row, one of these columns in this row, that covers these two columns. So double column elimination tells us that that is the only place a seven can go. 
Uh, you can find double row and double column elimination also on sudokuprimer.com if you're interested in that. All right, let's look at box two here again. We have five, seven twins here, but we've got one, three, four, and six missing. We've got a three and a six here, because we know there's only two numbers missing in this row. And we have three six twins here. So we know that can't be a three or a six. We know that because of unique rectangles. Now, if you're um, not familiar with that, you can go to the technique section of sudokuprimer.com and look up ambiguity rule. or unique rectangles. But look up ambiguity rule under the techniques section of sudokuprimer.com. Um, so we have three six twins here and three six twins here. So we know because of the unique rectangles or ambiguity rule, this cannot be a three or a six. So let's see what we're missing here. We've got one, three, four, and six here. That's a three or a six. Here's a 3 and a 6, so that's got to be a 1 or a 4. This can't be a 3 or a 6, so that's a 1 or a 4. And so we have 3 6 twins here. So we have 1 4 twins, 3 6 twins, and 5 7 twins, and 3 6 twins there. So we learned a little about this box, but we can't, still can't solve anything there. We don't have any inform, enough information there. Let's look at uh, this row right here. Let's see what we're missing. Two, five, nine. Two, five, and nine. There's a two and a nine there, so we can put a five in. That makes that a two because we have two five twins in box six there, and we know that's a nine right there. All right, and we're missing one, two, and three in this row. There's a two and a three there, so we know that's a one. And we're missing, let's see, a four and eight here. And remember our one, four twins, we can put those in now because of the one there. We know that's an eight. Alright, now with this 8, we can solve our 3 8 twins. And we can solve our 3 4 twins that we have here. We still have 1 9 twins there. Alright, we've got a 9 there, so we know that's a 1, that's a 9, and that's a 1. And now we know the 9 has to go here. Now what are we missing here? We're missing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 4, 5, and 6. We've got a 4 in this row already, so we know that has to be a 4. And these are 5 and 6. We can't solve a 5 or 6 yet, but look at this. We These are 4, 7 twins. These are 5, 7 twins. So that... 4 there tells us that's a 7, that's a 4, that's a 5, and that's a 7. And now we can solve our 5, 6 twins. All right, we're missing 2 and 3 there. We can solve those. We have 3 and 6 missing there. And a 3 and a 6 missing there. And we, we finished it. All right. So we had to resort to some fairly advanced techniques here in order to solve this puzzle. But we were able to do it um, pretty easily using those advanced techniques. Well, thank you for watching. And remember to uh, check, with the, check on this channel every Friday morning for a new video.